Hello, and welcome to the BSTN Community Report. Today we are talking to Borman Rotary President Beth Ann Tabak and Rotary member Mandy Moran. Thank you both for being here. Thank you Thanks for having us. us. So a big community and Rotary event is coming up in March, the 37th annual Pancake Breakfast. Some people may not realize it's not just one day, but a series of two weekends. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Um, we actually have it. It's two weekends, four days, March 23rd, 24th, 30th, and 31st. And it runs concurrently with the uh, Maple Syrup Festival at Boardman Park as well. Okay. So what types of crowds do you get for the breakfast, and what's so special about it? Um, we get family crowds. I've been going since I was little, um, so it's definitely family oriented. Um, but we also get um, like really prominent people through the community too that they come, so everyone can see them and see that they're just coming just like everyone else to get pancakes. And it's been around for so long that you get so many generations of people as well. Um, is it one of your bigger fundraisers, and like, about how much money do you get each year? Yes, it's definitely, uh, we have two great big fundraisers that we do every year. We have the October Festival, which is in September or October, and then we also have the Pancake Breakfast. And with the Pancake Breakfast, we've raised about $40,000 every year, yeah. somewhere around there. And then That's all of that money... great success. Yeah, yeah, and all of that money goes right back into the community. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the 5K run. Is this the second year for that? Yes. This is the second year. Yes, um, one of our members, John, is running it. Um, so basically, it starts at 9 a.m. on March 30th, and it goes through the park somewhat. A lot of it's on pavement, but some of it's through wooded areas. Um, and it was a really, it was a good success for the first yes. year last year, it was. And um, so he's doing it again. And all of our sponsors get their logos on the back of the shirt as well. So that's another way to let everyone know who's sponsoring our pancake event. Right, and it is, it's a 5K and a one mile walk yes. as well. So we had, like Mandy said, it was a great success last year and we wanna double that this year. We're hoping to have well over 100, maybe 200 runners if we can. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's back up a little bit. Tell us about the Rotary. How do people get involved and how would you describe your group to other people? I describe it as a family. You know, mm -hmm. I started a little over a year ago um, and when I started my grandfather was in Rotary for over 30 years and he has so many friends from Rotary. So when I joined, I'm starting to become friends with these people um, in Rotary. But it's also so great to get back to the community that you grew up in and that you live in and you see it grow so much because there are a lot of things that are coming around in Youngstown now. Um, and it's really easy to join. Um, I, we have free lunch passes that if anyone would like to come as a guest um, and see what Rotary is about and then it goes through the board to be voted in and things like that. Um, but it's just really great and it makes me, me happy to be there. Sure. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it, it is, it's a, it's a family and it's a really great diverse group of individuals. So we have a lot of women represented in the club now, which we're really excited about. Yeah. But we have people of all ages, you know, people in their mid to late 20s are joining. And our, um, we have members that are in their 90s, men and women, and all different job positions and fields. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, it is. A big goal of Rotary is to support the local community. Yeah. And you fundraise and give back in many ways. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. Um, Go ahead. Do you want me? Okay. Yeah. So we have done a lot of fundraising, obviously, like we talked about. So October Festival and Pancake Breakfast, two biggest fundraisers. And then that money goes to support different community endeavors. So we have done uh, dinners at the rescue mission. We have delivered food baskets to food insecure families around Christmas time. We've supported the Boy Scouts of America, the rescue mission, uh, Salvation, Salvation Army. Salvation Army. We've done coat drives. We've done blanket drives. We've supported supported literacy projects in Guatemala, but you know, we also have given money to Boardman Local Schools for different projects that, that have been worked on at Boardman Local Schools. So it's a really, it's a broad and diverse group of organizations that we've given, given money to, and we're very lucky because we're able to support the community because the community supports us, and that's what's really special about it. Okay. Yep, and we also, um, polio, you know, oh, is right. Rotary was founded off raising money for polio, and we're this close to being mm -hmm. 
rid of polio. So um, we have some at the pancake breakfast. You'll see these tins on your tables that you can just throw um, donations in, and that all goes to um, help polio. Um, in I think they're in three countries yeah, still. Getting the vaccines out to those yes. countries because there are just three countries with polio in it right now. So. Are there any other different organizations the Rotary has supported and about how much money is donated each year? Ooh, that is a great question. Yeah. I mean, we do, we put thousands of dollars into the community every year. And I would say probably in the area of about fifty to $60,000. Yeah, every because year? Yeah. we have speakers come in that talk about what they need funding mm -hmm. for, and we have a lot of speakers per year that come in and mm -hmm. talk, mm -hmm. and we donate a good amount of money to each each um, part of our community. You know, the Y, um, like she said, Boardman Schools mm -hmm. is Beatitude a big one. House. Um, yes, yeah. the Beatitude, Beatitude House. Beatitude House, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, I would say over 50. Yeah. Are there any other Rotary projects you'd like to add? I think we're, well, you as president really came to us, she really came to us and was very open about if you have anything that you'd like to do, let me know. So um, possibly Habitat for Humanity in the future for us to get involved mm -hmm. with. So we're working on service yeah. projects like that. Yeah. It's really important for us to get hands on in the community, which, which we do already you know so we do those Sunday dinners at the rescue mission we do deliver food baskets um, but we're we're looking for projects if anybody has any great ideas of really good hands-on projects because it's that's what we do we give back our rotary motto is service above self and that's what's really important that's yeah. nice. mm -hmm. anything else you'd like to add um, come join us someday. I mean, join yeah. us at the Pancake Breakfast. It runs those last two weekends in March. Sign up for the 5K. And if anybody's interested in ever becoming a member of Borman Rotary, we meet every Tuesday at 1215 at Borman Park at the Larisha Family Community Center. So, And that's know. where the Pancake Breakfast yeah. is as well. And it's $6 donation to the mm -hmm. club for each ticket. Yeah. So. Okay, well, thank you both for joining us on the Borman Community Report. Thank you. Thank you. Remember that Pancake Breakfast is two weekends, March 23rd and 24th, and March 30th and 31st, at the Larisha Center in Borman Park. I'm Max Rosega for Borman Schools Television Network. Have a great day.